Mike H. writes, Hi, movie talkers. I have a question about science and movies. I was just watching a YouTube video with Neil deGrasse Tyson, and he talked about some things going wrong with gravity, but he still liked it. My question is, how scientifically accurate should movies be, and have inaccuracies ever affected your opinion of a movie? Thanks. Thank you for the question, Mike. I really like this question. Mm -hmm. I think it's really interesting because there are a lot of movies like this with the premise that you wonder how scientifically accurate. And if you didn't know about the premise, I wouldn't know a difference. Like Transcendence used a lot of jargon that right. maybe I don't know about either. Um, sometimes it's blatantly obvious that they're just throwing in fun made up words or terminology. Mm -hmm. But I feel like most of the time they do treat the audience like they're more intelligent now mm -hmm. because the c consumers do demand more. Especially effects, everything, dialogue, yeah. everything's been just continuously raising. So I think we've come to expect just, I don't know, a little more genuine all around the board um, authenticity. So I didn't really notice anything gravity because I'm not, I'm not into that world. Yeah. So I just took it as the beautiful spectacle and film going experience that it was. But sure, if, if that's your trade, I might be like, well, they would never do that. Yeah. So it does if I was a scientist, yeah. yeah, then I would I would critique it, but I wouldn't want him to change it because again, the bottom line is it's a movie. Yeah. You have to be able to bend things here and there, and unless it's totally bizarre, because the other thing with gravity, what it did well is most movies that take place in space, you hear things. You can hear anything. Oh, you can't perfect. hear anything in space. And that's what they did well. So they did a lot of things right. Mm -hmm. But of course they're gonna have little things here and there in every type of movie where it's not exactly accurate. It's just it's so it's not so off the wall that everyone can notice yeah. it. No, I don't think it cares. Yeah. It but matters at all. History, I feel differently about because that actually is, you know, unless it's Inglorious Bastards. Well, of course. Yeah. If, you're, if you're Quentin Tarantino, you can do whatever right. the hell you want, right. and I'm on board. What do you think, John? Who the f cares? Yeah. It's a movie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, it's it's a movie. It doesn't matter. Look, even with the historical stuff, as long as you're not like radically changing things, I, I don't even mind people filmmakers taking creative liberties at times for the point of the film. You're making a film. You're not making a high school textbook that students need to learn history from. Your primary responsibility is to tell a story, and if that means taking some liberties with some scientific facts in space. Who the hell cares? I, it, like to me, it's just a movie. As long as it works for the movie, then it works for me. And if an audience person is too stupid to know the difference <laughs> between what happens in a movie and what is real life, um, then you know, then there are other problems we have as a society. But I no, I really don't care about these little inaccuracies in the film. Yeah, I do appreciate when they are as accurate as they can be, yeah. and they do the oh, research. Oh yeah, absolutely. Of course, but I'm not like, oh, that couldn't happen. I'm out. And like in terms of historical dramas, if they're claiming like true story and then they take the yeah. Hollywood version of it, I'm a little mm. less forgiving. Right, based than, on a true story yeah. and then it just has a guy going, he actually did go to the store and buy cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, or if they totally take the different route and do like the Forrest Gump approach where they make up parts of history, that then I'm totally on board with yeah. that as oh, well. Oh sure, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so it's fun. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC movie talk show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.